everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a recap of all the pages and what I have left over from my Mini Kit Monday for October 2019. Now this was the month that we did the 4x4 that Janet gave us the cuts to use and I used it for all of my pages. And I have used the Warm and Cozy um, mainly for my, my kit. So if you want to see the intro, there's a video for that. And there's a video for this one as well. This is the first page that I created. I love this, um, this, paper, this floral paper. It is so, so pretty. In fact, I love all of the pages. This was the second page that I did. This is when I went to the cider mill with my daughter. I have four photos on this one. How unusual of me. And then this was the third photo. This is, um, I mean, the, the layout. This is the one where um, we hadn't done a selfie the whole time that we were together. I was with her for a week. And not until I was in the car ready to go to the airport did uh, she come running out. She goes, we didn't even do a selfie the whole time you were here. So this is it. This is the, the selfie that we took. And then this one is about the infamous uh, Michigan left. Now, um, I explain it in the video, and this is actually the bonus video. Uh, yeah, it's pretty funny, uh, and to me, because I have driven all over the country and I've never heard of such a thing. So if you're not familiar with the Michigan left, then go back and watch that video. And then let me show you what I have left over. So I don't have a lot actually. I didn't use this stripe paper at all, nor did I use this heart paper, which I really thought, ooh, that one's really, it's a little busy in it. I thought that I would, um, but I didn't at all. And then I have some pieces left over of this, uh, what was it called? Uh, Emerson Lake from Heidi Swap. <clears throat> I have a couple pieces left here. A couple pieces of that tweed paper and then this is the dark brown 6x6 six six pad and then I have the chipboard here I use several elements here this is the one that I had uh, the crush on I absolutely love the antlers and then here are my um, they're in the cellophane I'm trying to make sure we don't have a glare but I didn't use too many of the stickers. In fact, I only see one. Wow, didn't realize that. But I think I used quite a bit of the of the die cut. Here's all the floral. Here's some of the twine that I have left over. I did use that. Uh, here are two pumpkins left over. And the, the envelope is still here. So I have quite a bit of the die cuts. I love the floral, that's for sure. Look at the enamel dots that I have left over. Amazing, I even used any. Do you remember all those leaves that I punched out? Do you remember there are hundreds? It seemed like hundreds. This is all I have left. I didn't use them on these four pages alone. I have a very big um, page that I had used, I bet 50 of them, I don't know. And I'll be posting that in November. So you'll just have to keep up with that. Um, it is a wreath, so in, you know, you'll understand. When I say wreath, you're like, oh yeah, I got it. And then for this, I did use a couple of the, the buttons. Very nice. Uh, oh, hey. So I told you that I reserved the right to bring in other things, you know, to my kit. Well, this is the washi that I decided to bring in. This one I have been hoarding. I love this gold foil. This is actually going to go in the trash. I have been hoarding this for a long time and I decided just to go ahead and use it up. So 
Goodbye. It has been fantastic. One of my favorite washies I have ever used. Hard to give that up. And then these are the three washies as well that I have pulled in. Um, and you know what? I don't remember using this one, but I probably did. So let me go back and look. I'm really bad this way. Let's see, I used this washi here. I didn't use a washi on this one at all. This one I used, oh I did. In fact, I used all three here. Go me. Yes, very nice. And then no washi on this one. Hey, that's pretty good. For somebody that is not a washi girl, I have to say I'm pretty proud of myself. Look at all the alpha I used. This one, this was completely full. I still have three A's, two E's, of course no L's. That whatever reason, those are the first to go. There's some O's. I have four O's, some U's. You know how the vowels are usually the first thing to go? No, mine are L's. And the M's are gone in it, and I only have one N. Funny. And then this alpha as well, the wood grain. I didn't use this up as much, but it's okay. All right, so that is it for the month of October. For November, we are, um, it's kind of different. It's kind of a surprise. You are going to like it. Yeah, uh, we've been doing some creative behind the scenes planning. So for the month of November, uh, it is going to be good. So I am going to get that kit together and get it posted for the first Monday of November. All right, guys, I so appreciate all of you. You have, are so kind. Um, you say so many kind words, not only to us, the girls that do the videos, but also to the group. If you're not familiar with the Mini Kit Monday uh, Facebook, the challenge group, please check it out. There's going to be a link below in my description box, as well as links to all the girls that do videos, uh, Becky and Dolly, Daisy, Kathy, yep, all of us. Oh, and Shannon. Can't forget Shannon. So, um, yeah, make sure you check us all out. Um, and I, I just want to say thank you and how much I appreciate all of you guys. Okay? You have an awesome day. Bye-bye.